Here we are today in the grounds of the Preston England Temple, the site where the British pageant will be performed this summer. And just a short distance away is the town of Preston, where the missionaries first preached the gospel here in 1837. The missionaries arrived in Preston and immediately had great success. And after proceeding to the market square and to the obelisk, they were able to preach the gospel to the local people, many of whom were interested. Some of those missionaries, including Heber C. Kimball and Joseph Fielding, were able to baptize and teach the people about the truths of the gospel. And within a short time, a branch of the church was established there. What a sight! It feels so good to be home! Back with my own people! Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. I feel entirely inadequate. I hope you'll do all the talking. <laughs> I think not. Heber, you're an apostle of the Lord. An apostle? Among a people whose intelligence is proverbial, I haven't the tongue for it. But with the Spirit of God, you'll speak with the tongue of angels. So today we're here in Downham, um, in the Ribble Valley, um, one of the early places where the missionaries arrived after visiting Preston. So after some of the initial success that the missionaries had in nearby Preston, they kind of went out to the nearby villages. And in Downham and Chapburn and Clitheroe, the missionaries had tremendous success. Now, one of those important missionaries was Elder Heber C. Kimball. And after arriving in Downham, they began to baptize people immediately. And people had incredible faith-building experiences. And although other religions had struggled at times in the village, the missionaries found immediate success. After baptizing in Downham, and after having uh, great success there, the missionaries received an invitation to travel to the nearby village of Chatburn. And whilst having a speaking appointment in Clitheroe, he and his companion, Elder Fielding, split up. And that evening, Elder Heber C. Kimball travelled to Chatburn and he preached in a barn to the villagers. And they went long into the night and ultimately he baptised over 80 people that evening. At the end of the sermon, he boldly extended the call of Christ to all. Good brothers and sisters, I stand ready to perform the ordinance of baptism if you will accept it through faith and repentance. Sister Partington spoke first. Please, sir, will you baptize me? <laughs> More than a dozen voices echoed Sister Partington's plea. That very night, Elder Kimball went down into the water and baptized 25 souls. Afterwards, he conversed with the villagers until after midnight. Hundreds joined in Chatburn and it was a deeply personal journey for each one. As the missionaries were preparing to leave the villages, the local villagers kind of lined up to greet them. Even those who were not members of the faith had grown to love the missionaries. And as they were leaving, Elder Kimball took off his hat as he walked through the villages as a mark of respect. As I left them, my feelings were such as I could not describe. These were sisters and brothers to me now, and I felt as if the place were holy ground. Upon returning home, I described the experience to the prophet Joseph, who explained to me, that is a place where some of the old prophets traveled and dedicated the land, and their blessing fell upon you. 